This is a tutorial for setting up your character rig for Faceware's Live Client for Unity plugin. If you haven't already, you can grab the plugin from the Unity Assets Store. You can just search for Faceware and it'll show up here and install it into your scene. Now I have a scene here already. I'm going to be using our Victor Blend Shape rig, which is downloadable from our website at facewaretech.com on the Training Assets page. Under where it says Rigs for Motion Builder, you can download this one. It's an FBX file, so it'll work fine in Unity. Please keep in mind that some of the fine details, like how to select controls, are going to be different depending on the type of rig you're using. This plugin is intended for people who already know about animation and rigging and have some familiarity with Unity, so please keep that in mind. Once you've imported the Live Client plugin from the Asset Store, a new option will appear in the window menu called Faceware. In it, you'll see Character Setup, there we go, which we'll select to open up the Character Setup window. The point, as you likely know, of Faceware Live is to track the user's face in real time in Live Server and stream it to a character rig in Live Client, in this case, Live Client for Unity. The tracking part is fairly straightforward, and you can find more information in our other tutorials about Live Server. But on the animation side, we need to teach the software what certain shapes look like on our particular rig when it's animating, so that it knows what an ooh looks like, or a smile, or a blink, etc. This is why we do character setup. Character setup is a two-part process. First, we're going to add the controls to use in the rig so that Live Client knows what to animate. As I mentioned before, Victor here is a blend shape rig, so we're going to select the object that contains the shapes. In this case, it's the Victor head object. Now in the inspector, under skin to mesh renderer, we have our whole list of blend shapes here. In the character setup window, over here on the left, under step one control setup, the first thing we want to do is select our objects to be added. Now if you're using something like a joint rig or other type of rig, you want to select the individual controls. But since we're using blend shapes, we're just going to select the object that the blend shapes exist on. So we'll hit that button, and it'll populate the selected objects list with all the objects you currently have selected in your scene, as the name suggests. We can see our list of blend shapes here, as well as the controls for the actual head object itself. We want to add all of these except for head position. So we'll hit select all and then deselect this one. So now that we have all of our objects selected that we want, we're going to hit add controls and it'll move everything over here. Everything that's selected in the selected objects section is going to now be in the added control section. For us, that's all of our blends plus the head rotation, which is what, exactly what we want. These are now the controls that Live is going to use, anything in this box over here. You can remove any you want by simply selecting it and hitting remove controls, but we're pretty happy with what we've added, so we're going to move on to the second step, and that's creating our expressions. So step two of the character setup process is to create the expressions that Live will use to animate based on the tracking. Now that we've added our controls, the Live plugin knows what controls to move, but it doesn't know how to move them to make the rig move naturally according to the tracking from Live Server. These are referred to as expressions, and we have a whole list of all the expressions that Live uses. Now it doesn't technically require all of these expressions, and some rigs might not be able to perform all of them, depending on the rig. But the more that your rig is capable of, the better animation results you will typically see. The expressions themselves are basic facial motions that are ultimately driven and combined by the tracking data streaming from Live Server. They're things like blinks, brow raises, phonemes, jaw movements, etc. So first, however, we need a baseline or neutral expression for our rig. Our rig here, Victor, is already in its default neutral position. As you can all the blends are at zero. So we're going to go over to the expression set when we know it's at neutral, whatever your rig's neutral position is, and hit save pose. So once you hit that and this green check mark appears, the expression has been saved into memory. From here, we'll go through the entire list and create the appropriate expressions that are listed. The first one is eye direction left. So all we're going to do is take the controls that control eye direction, move them left, and save the pose. So we'll set this to 100. You can see his eyes move to the left, and we'll save the pose. As you're working, you can hit show saved at any time to make the rig show the appropriate expression. You can do this to check any of your expressions in the future, but the main use for it, before creating new expressions, go to the neutral pose and press the button. The reason you want to do this is because you only want the controls that directly affect the given expression to be active when you save it. If there are overlapping controls, say you're on the jaw open expression and the eyes are moved to the left still. When you're streaming data into it, whenever the character's jaw opens, their eyes will move to the left and you don't want that sort of overlapping controls. 
So before you do each new expression, you're going to go up to neutral and hit show saved, and that'll reset everything to neutral. And then you just continue on down the list of the eye directions, brow movements, jaw, lips, phonemes, smiles, all that sort of stuff. So we'll just do exactly that. We'll go to the next one. Make sure we hit neutral, show saved, eye direction right. So right shape will set at 100, make him look right. Save pose, neutral, show saved, eye direction up, up shape, 100. Save pose and etc. going down the whole list or at least as much as our rig is capable of doing and still looking good. Okay, now I've gone through each of these expressions on the list and added the appropriate pose. Uh, you can see here as I hit show saved, or smile left, mouth near left, some phonemes, as we go up, you know, jaw, eyebrows, all these are saved. One other trick that I didn't mention before is that as you're going down, if your pose hasn't been saved, that is to say that there is no green check mark, it's still the red X, hitting show saved for that pose will set your rig back to the default value, same as hitting the show saved on neutral. This way you don't have to keep going up and down, scrolling up back and forth to do every new expression. You can just fix one, hit show saved on the next one, hit update, and move along like that. If you ever want to change any of your poses, you just hit show saved so that current expression is going on. Do whatever fixes you want on your rig and hit update pose. It'll prompt you if you want to update the pose and you can hit yes if you want to do so. Once you have all the expressions you wish to set, we'll go up here, hit save as, save it, we'll say demo, Victor, hit save. That'll save that as a JSON file. And this is going to be the file that you load into Live Client to tell it what to animate once you start streaming from Live Server.